George Mitchell bought the woodlands when it was swampland. It was like nasty, useless marshland. And most people that are listening know who, what the woodlands is. Master plan community, Northwest Houston, um, was one of the very first and the most successful master plan community in the world, well, in America, year to date. Like until it, until the point it was created. He built Lake Woodlands. He built a lake. He gathered, he literally engineered, he and had people do this, engineer the water so that it was now an attraction, lakes and channels, and the land was reclaimed. And now it is one of, if not the most successful master plan residential community on the planet to this day. It's a beautiful place to live that's really, really well planned and really, really well run. And the only thing people complain about is that it has high taxes. But based on what Mayor Velker said in the first part, you got to factor in what you get for those taxes. You get one of the safest, prettiest, best schools, sports, attraction, parks and recreation, all the things you could ever want in a community. And it's done there very, 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 very well. So that all started with a guy that bought cheap land that nobody wanted. And everyone said, you're crazy for buying it. It's never going to amount to anything. Great. You know, concert venues, malls, shopping. I mean, it's, it's a wild. wild success. So do you call that a real estate investment? He bought a ton of land. Now it's a bunch of neighborhoods and developments. Yeah, the invest, the return on that's incredible. But is that normal? No. If we're talking about normal investments, I throw my money in a mutual fund or I buy real estate, I'd rather have the real estate. And the reason is the mutual fund might do really well, but I don't get to live in the mutual fund and enjoy the mutual fund and protect my family and go and rest there and that be my safe place and that you know build memories and all those things there. And it might generate the same or even better financial return also. I can enjoy it because it's a real asset, it's physical. I can generate cash flow off of it and it can have a capital gain, meaning it's worth more later than what I bought it for. None of those things are guaranteed but it has multiple returns, a lifestyle return, a cash flow return, maybe, and a capital gains return, maybe. And over the long time lifetime of most people, that's gonna be one of the best investments they can make. That's as close as I can get to an absolute definitive better or worse answer because life's more complicated than that. 